Now let's start with our next chapter that is exception handling. It's a similar concept with any other object oriented programming language, but uh, again, it has got some differences uh, in Apex especially. So let's exactly, let's go through the, uh, this chapter and understand that what exactly exceptions are, uh, like what are the different statements that we use in uh, exception handling and how to actually throw an exception or how to actually catch an exception and what I mean, what are the different different types of exceptions that are there already in Apex, uh, which you might face time and time out, and uh, yeah, similar stuff like that. Let's begin. So as written over here, an exception denotes an error which occurs or which gets generated at runtime. And what runtime basically means is that whenever we are executing a particular program, and while executing that particular program, if there is a sudden error that happens because of something, uh, because of which the program execution gets halt, then in that case, we call it as an exception, right? It happens a lot of times. And by the way, uh, exceptions are different than errors. So when you save a particular program and uh, you see different, different uh, problems in, the, in that particular tab, which stop you from saving that code as a compiled apex in, uh, in the data storage, that is something that we call as an error or you, uh, you can call it call that as a compile time error as well, which doesn't even allow you to save that particular program because there are some problems. Most of the problems related to syntax are considered as uh, like, I mean, yeah, are considered as compile time errors, which can be resolved by uh, at the time when you're writing the program itself. But when you talk about runtime errors, it's something very different. And let me tell you, uh, let me explain you how it is different uh, than compile time errors. Because the code is written perfectly fine, but this code is dependent on to some other things as well, which will only be able to identify that uh, whether this will work right or not at the execution time, right? So when we'll be executing that particular code, then only we'll be able to identify whether uh, this particular thing is returning the right value or not. And if it is returning the right value, then the program will uh, get executed as expected. And if it is not not returning a particular value or it is not even returning any value or something like that, then in that case, there'll be an exception that will occur which will stop the complete execution uh, of that particular program or of that particular code. So yeah, the execution gets halted whenever we face an exception. Let's see what the other thing says. So it's, it says the same thing. Exception disrupts the normal flow of the application, hence to keep the application running, we use exception handling. Exception handling is the process of responding to exceptions that appear in the code during its runtime so that the normal flow of the app, uh, application can be maintained. Okay, so with the help of this particular diagram, let's understand what exactly uh, exception handling means. So let's say this is uh, the execution, or this is a code that we need to execute, right, which is written over here. Now, in order to execute this particular code, uh, uh, the runtime will like execute the lines written over here. And in this particular line, let's say, there's an exception that occurred. So this will halt the execution of the program. And this will uh, like all the rest of the lines which are written after it will not get executed. So this is something that is called as an exception. And this is something that we need to handle. Uh, with the help of the yeah, tools which are given, not tools, but the concepts which are given to us in order to uh, handle the exceptions which might occur at runtime. So we need to take care of that. In, in, this, but in this diagram as well, what is happening? There's a program flow going on. And in between, there is an exception that occurs. And because of this exception, the complete flow of the, yeah, the complete execution flow gets halted or get, uh, get like it, it stops executing the rest of the code. So in order to do, uh, in order to pass this particular code, which is, uh, which is throwing an exception, uh, what we do is we write like we make sure that we are uh, handling the exceptions well, so that the code which is written after this keeps on executing irrespective of the exception which occurred earlier in a particular set of code, and that's all what it is. <laughs> 